Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver, and welcome back to World of Horror. So, I prepare for something, and uh, by that I mean uh, the Fallout New Vegas stream just ended. Although, I, uh, I shouldn't say it just ended, I kind of vibed for a little bit, uh, did some stuff on the back end, and then uh, I helped, uh, I helped a, a pal... Uh, sort of not necessarily get their OBS up and running for everything, but I, I got them to a point where they could record, uh, and they were and they're hopefully gonna have fun with that. But uh, every time I set up OV OBS with somebody, I'm just reminded of how weird OBS is as a program. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not like Adobe. Right? Like, Adobe is just hell. Now, all my homies hate Adobe, right? But with OBS, there's a lot of weird things that happen, and, like, every time you record a game, it's, like, some sort of new thing you have to figure out how to record, right? Like, I, I was helping my friend figure out how to record, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the Star Wars game, um, and they were... Like, here's the thing. Normally, when you're on OBS, right, you have your, like, your base re your, your base canvas resolution and then your output resolution. And then you have, you know, obviously, like, the resolution of the game and the resolution of the monitor. Those are all things that are factors. Oh, God. Um, and so I was... It was very strange. Uh, my friend, they... They were on 1920 by 1080p as their monitor's resolution, and they were on 1920 by 1080p as the game's resolution, and then the game, like, OBS itself was also set to a canvas and output resolution of 1920 by 1080p. But, for some weird reason, it was so, like, it, it was so messed up. And so, what we kind of had to do was we had to just put it in windowed mode or borderless mode. Like, whenever we put it in full screen, it would, like, massively zoom in. And, you know, honestly, it was just a quick fix solution, putting it in windowed mode. Because whenever OBS is having trouble with full screen, like, a solution 90% of the time is just to put it in windowed or borderless windowed. Uh, that's something that I've learned uh, from setting up OBS probably about, like, six times. Uh, initially setting it up years ago. All those years ago. Probably, like, seven years ago? Eight? Oh, God, seven or eight years ago when I first set it up. Uh, and then setting it up on a new computer, helping my friend set it up, optimizing it, setting it up on my laptop, to figure out that my laptop's not strong enough to actually use OBS properly, and I would have to turn the the settings down in order to record World of Horror, which, believe me, was a frightening uh, realization. Um, and so then, you know, I then set OBS up again on this computer, and then I set Streamlabs up on this computer as well. So I have a decent amount of experience setting OBS up, and then it's like every game has some weird different thing um, to deal with. Like, I, the reason why I stopped the Hades playthrough was literally because I had never experienced a game like Hades and how OBS handled it before, which is not necessarily a, a dig at Hades, by the way. Like, Hades is fine. Hades didn't do anything. Hades just existed, but... You know, it's like if a game is very sketchy to get it to work with um, OBS, it's like a... Uh, it's significantly more sketchy for me to, like... Uh, yeah. Calmer down. Oh, that sucks. But, uh, we had more of a chance of doing the bathroom thing, but it's like 5 EXP versus, uh... I cannot believe that we got this. We should have re-rolled the whole time. Hold on, what's the seed? 
Zuzo, Zuzo, Zuzo the seed. Um, we're we're gonna if we get another book here and we only get two books, we're gonna re-roll this seed until we get library notes. You better believe me. But uh, what was I gonna say? It's like every time you record a game with OBS, there's some sort of weird challenge to it. And I am also where's my my memory text. I kind of have my windows in weird spots because I was streaming and I have a different streaming setup than I do an OBS setup. And switching between OBS and Streamlabs can be a little bit weird. But anyways, that's not that's not entirely important. It's like every time you, uh, you know, every time you get into some sort of thing with OBS, there's some weird thing to figure out. And it's not necessarily annoying, right? Because here's the thing. Adobe is infuriating because... Don't mind me, Kana. <laughs> Adobe is infuriating because... Oh, no. Anyways. Uh, Adobe is infuriating because it works some of the time, and then it works none of the time. And there's not really anything you can do about it. And if you contact Adobe support, they'll be like, well... Your machine that has the most powerful consumer-grade processor in existence right now, you know, I think your processor is a little bit too weak. Uh, have you considered upgrading? Uh, no, but, like, for real. Uh, Adobe is, like... Like, I don't... <laughs> I feel bad for Adobe support because they get bullied on their own forms. Like, that should truly tell you how much of a disaster the whole situation is. Like, it's actually... A couple years ago, I used to read, like, I, I used to go on, like, the Adobe CC forms, or, like, the create, like, the Adobe forms, or, like, the Creative Cow forms, and, oh, man, 5% Doom, huh? A little bit sketchy, not gonna lie, but, uh, yeah, I used to, I used to go to, like, the, the Adobe forms, and I used to go to the Creative Cow forms. I don't know if they're both owned by Adobe. But I do know that, um, there we go. Uh, I do know that on both, Adobe gets mercilessly bullied. And I, I mean, I, I feel kind of, okay, oh wait, hold on. Is this the second enemy? I think this might be the second enemy. Wait, no, I don't think we fought yet. This is the first enemy. Yeah, if, if we fought an enemy before, we would be, a, we would be at level two. So, so that's that's an important thing to consider here and we're just gonna we're just gonna eat the one reason I'm not particularly worried about that. We don't have uh, medical history, so Just eat it and move on and we will uh, Rest again one more time. It's really bad with Goizo I know but if we're gonna lose tireless we have to get something out of it uh, That sucks that really sucks. I think you lose reason either way, but I could be wrong uh, literally no spell uh, anatomy class is like, eh, you know, I'm not... Yeah, no, anatomy class is kind of stinky. Um, I almost want to get Outdoorsman. I think we will. I actually think we're going to get Outdoorsman. And we're going to get Outdoorsman and we're going to get Reason. Uh, so second mystery is uh, Botany. And then second enemy, who's ever we got, who is ever we have next. That's not a sentence, is it? Uh, we have strength and dexterity, which is kind of weird, but, you know. We want to get through this as quickly as possible. Like, uh... <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Immediate vindication. Uh, we hit the ground running. We don't stop running. Although, maybe we should have taken... No, we shouldn't have taken the doom there. Are you kidding? 44% doom? Uh... Ignore the tent, because we don't want to lose two reason. We'd, la we'd rather you lose one. Uh, we would love to get first aid, though. Okay, so Bark Woman is the second enemy. We're going to need this, specifically, because... I mean, let's just be honest here. Like, I mean, we're going to need it. Uh, I think we might throw the empty bottle. She goes down to... She goes down to eight, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So that, that's definitely worth it. We take one damage. Kana is so powerful, by the way. Like, I, I just want to point that out. Kana is ridiculously powerful. 
Uh, plus two reason from the compass, which is actually just plus one reason, but, uh, you know, I'm not gonna... Not particularly... Uh, hold it against the game there. Uh, this is a perception check. We'll take it. I mean, do we want to take 5% doom, or do we want to, or, or do we want to take minus two reason when we're so close to beating the mystery? Um, yeah, so, I mean, honestly, doom scares us right now, but if we summoned the real, uh, the real Shiro-san, we would die? Unless we could one-hit KO him? With desperation? Because we'll take three damage, right? Because we have Kana. We normally take four. The question is, can we kill him in one turn? I don't think we can. Because he's going to have 16 health, right? We're going to do four damage. It's possible, but, like, I don't know if I want to... I, I, I don't want to... No, we'll take the Doom. We'll, we'll, we'll take the Doom. Like, we actually could maybe do it, but 3%, 2% Doom, whatever, because Hunted by the Cult. Um, we really wanted first aid. We really did. None of these are none of these are useful. We'll we'll take art knowledge, I guess. Fast learner is just atrociously bad. Like oh boy, one with Kana. Kana makes fast learner worse, which is hilarious. But making fast learner worse is not a bad thing by no stretch of the imagination. I guess we'll just take strength. I guess make our brace for impact better because we're gonna need it eventually. Um, but yeah, so, I, I, here, here's the thing, what kind of, in hindsight, or not in hindsight, but in perspective, it's like, OBS is a free program that you occasionally have to troubleshoot. Adobe Premiere is a, if you want the creative cloud, $58 a month, um, I think, it's like, yeah, it's like 58 bucks, right? Oh, God. I hope they haven't increased my subscription price again, but that's besides the point. Um, it's like 58 bucks a month, maybe like with taxes, probably like 60 bucks a month, right? And so, I mean, admittedly, I just use Adobe Premiere and uh, After Effects. I don't use, I, I tried to use Photoshop, but I ditched it for, uh, I mean, I, I, I ditched it for a couple of other art programs. And by that, I mean I use Pixlr Online. <laughs> oh. But, uh... Yeah, Pixlr is what I use for the, um... Whatchamacallit, the thumbnails. And by the way, that's why the, the font in the thumbnails changed. Because they're now, uh... The, the font you, used to be free. But I guess they, they got onto the fact that I was using it, and so they made it a premium font, and so now I just use the default Arial font uh, when I go to make the thumbnail. But, uh, I'm act We'll do... We'll do this, which is kind of weird, but I think it's ultimately fine, because... Oh, crap, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Uh, I meant to leave. I meant to leave, dude. Uh, is because we, you know, we're fighting a boss that does stamina damage when we have the lump of flesh. It's like, we can, we can totally do that. Um, if we get to the end, oh my god, we even have art knowledge, don't we? But the, the freaking, the literal art, the literal art of art knowledge damaged us. You hate to see it. You cowards. But, uh, yeah, well, yeah, hmm... Yeah, sure. Thank God for that. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We actually should be able to do this. Yeah, we can kill him. That's beautiful. If we can enter the boss arena in desperation range, that'd be great. Uh, but we could just die. Um, but yeah, back out. We got the lump of flesh. Um, but yeah, like, uh, Adobe is... Like, completely unacceptable for where it's at as a as a software suite but they basically have a monopoly because if you're like because if you want to edit a video and then you want to do like some crazy effects right then you basically have to use the creative cloud or you're in just for a world of inconvenience right like i believe it's davinci resolve that has like the best color grading 
that you can get from, like, a platform. But even then, it's, like, it's a, an absolute mess to try to get it to actually work. You know what I mean? Like, I tried to use DaVinci Resolve. Like, God, I tried. But it just did not work out. Uh, so that actually does kind of suck. That that might make this a little bit sketchier than it has to be. Two 85% chances. It's still not the end of the world if we miss one of these things, but we did not want to miss. Okay, so... Do we want to go to the hospital twice and maybe die for 15 EXP? Uh, no. Definitely not. Um, the, Inns the Innsmouth look, that's perfectly fine. Uh, as long as we don't die on this event, we're perfectly fine. We, we can definitely beat the boss. Um, we want to lose stamina here? Or reason? Because I always think that's stamina, because you, like, stumble back. But, alright, let's go. We are, okay, too. That's, Kana is ridiculously overpowered. Um, I mean, I, I would hope, I, I hope both of these go through. Because we, we were in a very bad spot if one of those missed. Uh, quite frankly. Can we actually just make sure that... Okay, no. We have to rely on a 92% chance. And we have to do that a couple of times, actually. Or do we? Yeah, yeah, we do. We have to do that one more time. We, we can kill... Uh, we can kill in the next turn. Assuming this hits, we can kill in the next turn. Thank God for seven knowledge not being enough with the concussion. First aid, you love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. We will take reason 100% of the time. And then we out here. Fetid fumes basically means that we can't rest anymore. Um, so yes, uh, what, what shall we do? Uh, Violent Vigil or Sailors? Both of these suck. <laughs> Both of these are horrible. Uh, there really is, like, no other way to describe it, but we'll have to go Vigil. We'll just have to go Vigil and hope for the best. Uh, maybe we could do, like, the EX... Oh my god. Maybe we could do the EXP Power Hour, and that might actually be what we... Like, unless it's cut down the plant, I think we should ignore the Vigil Pamphlet. This is a bad one. Immediately, this is a very bad one. Um... Uh... Oh, man, this is so punishing if we miss it, but we gotta go. We gotta go for it. Oh, thank God. Okay, so... We can Desperation, and then the game... The, the hands of the game is, uh... In RNG, technically. It doesn't have to be this way, but why not? Let's go. We are never punished for our immense greed, but and we can... Okay, burn an envelope, so we'll just ignore this then. Um, let's see, clap, bow, clap, bow. I mean, we'll, we'll do that, but we're not gonna... What is this? Yeah, we're not gonna light up the fireplace. I'm, I'm not gonna risk reason for that, no. Absolutely not. Search the room. I love to see that. Uh, let's just throw the vigil pamphlet away, honestly. Like, I don't, I'm not particularly worried about that. So what we're doing here is we are forcing the game uh, to make us fight a bunch of weak enemies that we know we can defeat so that we can trigger first aid as many times as possible. Remember, these don't give you books, unfortunately. So we'll just pass. Uh, to basically make it to where we are guaranteed to fight two enemies that are super easy to beat. Uh, we'll get rid of the burnt notes and equip whatever mask is here, because we're about to be in a combat fight. Or, no? <laughs> How does this work? Hello? Oh, no. That's, I mean, ritual mask, uh, can come in very helpful here. Oh, no. Okay, so, thankfully, we can guarantee that this hits, but, like, what good is that gonna do us? We have one more turn that we can not, uh, okay. So, now we throw both of these, probably. Oh, what do we got here? So we can guarantee, we, we can guarantee 12 damage, that's it. 
Wait a minute. Okay, no, that's good enough. That's good enough. Thank God. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank God. We are barely scraping by here. This is... Okay, see? This this is the ignoring the vigil pamphlet coming in clutch. This is a weak enemy that we can send almost immediately. Because look, 100% chance. So we just kill her and we're good. So I was hoping that we fought both of them there, but we didn't. Um, there is, theoretically, some way to fight two of them guaranteed. But I, I, I think maybe we have to ignore... Thank God we took... Thank God we took the vigil. Oh, man. This is probably going to be a win, but it's going to be close. Like, this is going to be close. We're going to discard both the Ritual Mask and the Compass, by the way, but we're going to do that as late as humanly possible. Doom doesn't matter uh, unless we have to rest, um, which would be terrible. We definitely don't want to rest under any circumstance. Uh, and so, I mean, with that in mind, I mean, we'll take anatomy class just because we might, we might come across a human. But maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. We'll take strength here. We don't need more knowledge. We, we really don't. Uh, the only benefit it gives us is a better skill chance, which I mean, admittedly, that could be the difference between life and death. But I think that... At the end of the day... Okay, we're taking one stamina damage. Can we kill? That's tw We should... Yeah, we can kill. We can kill. Oh, it's a 95% chance, boys. One of, the, one of those days, we're going to miss that, and we're going to be very upset. But... You know, we're in a we're in a pretty good spot actually. We got the we got the lump of flesh to back us up. Having to go to the mansion twice sucks. Don't get me wrong, cuz that's going to proc branded. But I've played this game long enough to know that we should we should be fine. We're just waiting for that organized fishing trip. We're throwing our mask away. Got a got a what's the song called? Hold on. Hold on. I have it on iTunes, so I can actually just tell you what the song is called. Um, where is it? Persona 5 Royal soundtrack. Where are you? I own a physical copy of the soundtrack. I ripped it onto iTunes. Completely. I, I own the, the, the edition that gives you the soundtrack. Do not murder me, Atlas. I am telling the truth. Um, throw away your mask. Like, we're literally going to throw away the mask. Also, oh my god, that's, uh, rather frightening. So here's the thing, 90, like we, we want to get six damage done here. Um, but I'm thinking that maybe we just run. If we're confident that we got Botany and Bark Woman right, we run here. I mean, this will just do one damage though. So it's like, it's not horrible if it misses, but I was like, that was still kind of subtly terrifying. I'm not going to lie to you. And we're gonna have to do it again, which I don't like at all. Okay, we got there. We got there. We got there. 18 damage in the back pocket. 16 damage, by the way. That's what I meant to say. Okay, organized fishing trip. So first of all, uh, eat the lump of flesh. Oh no, holes. Who cares? Discard. Discard. Get the torch. Mimi, you, you okay there? You, you looking okay there, Mimi? always help the fishermen. I don't care if we succeeded or not. I'd rather take minus one, minus one instead of minus two. All right. Trails of fire. You always knew. Carry the torch from me unto you. Boom. Done and dusted. So we are going to take three. Okay, so it's second mystery botany, second enemy bark woman. Uh, we can actually fail both of those uh, if we want to. Although there is Takahashi, so we do have to be careful of that. Oh man, both of the stat checks are after Takahashi, so there's no way to get into desperation range. That's a little bit of a bummer. Um, but assuming that we get the things right, we don't have to worry about Takahashi. If we get both of them wrong, then we have a little bit of a problem on our hands. Um, but it was Botany, 10 EXP. There's no way for us to get enough dexterity, but it's still kind of sad that we're at seven. 
If only we didn't have to take uh, reason once. Like, if, if we if we could have put a point into dexterity, it would have been a perfect lighthouse. It would have been beautiful. It would have been the best lighthouse in the world, but... Alas, there's no light source, so who cares? And just send them to heck. He's dead. And then we got there. Max reason, because Mimi. And then we take three stamina damage, because, you know, we have seven dexterity instead of eight. And we're good to go. Thank you so much for watching. My name has been Web Weaver. I have something cool cooking in the in my back pocket. And also, Fallout New Vegas has been absolutely popping off. Uh, if you haven't been, uh, if you if you haven't seen the vods yet, uh, episode twelve Wild Card was so good. Like the game broke. Like here's the thing: the last two streams, the game has been collapsing around me. Right, like, I, I can't even begin to describe half, well, I can and will in a moment, but, like, let me just give you, like, the perfect example of what happened on, like, part 11, right? Uh, we were doing a quest where you're supposed to expose this dude for being, a, like, a, a killer or whatever, and to basically get, like, his faction to turn on him and kick him out so that, you know, blah, 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 that sort of thing. Um... And so we confronted him, we exposed him in front of his faction, and we attacked him. However, he didn't aggro, right? So we used the, the dialogue option called attack, and then we started combat. But here's the thing, that's not what happened. He stood there, well, every single, there's probably about like 15 NPCs, probably like eh, 12 or 10, 15 NPCs, they all got up from their chairs, they drew their weapons in synchronicity, and they ran at my companion Veronica, and they beat Veronica to unconsciousness, and then it said, quest complete. And then I talked to one of the other NPCs, and I got, oh, it's a real shame about that guy. It's a shame we had to kill him, and he's just standing like right there. And it's like, oh, you know, yeah, like talking about him like he's in the po post-mortem, like he's dead. But he's just standing there, and I can talk to him. And then he says dialogue from an earlier part of the quest, and I'm just like, good god, what is happening? Uh, but that's only one of the things that happened, right? Like, in, in part 12, the stream that we did yesterday, the Sunday stream, whoo boy. Well, I, I don't even know how to describe what immediately happened. Um, the NCR, you can't trust them. That's, that's all I'll say on that matter. Um, so anyways, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Web Weaver. I hope you're having a good one out there. I can't wait for you to see the, the special video I'm cooking up. Hopefully it will be out on time, but uh, I, I want to get it out, I think, next week. So anyways, thanks for watching. My name is Web Weaver. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Stay safe out there.